Yep. I've recently had my account disabled, taken away, and I had to do a whole lot of frustration in order to get it back. That's right. I was hacked on my Instagram. How did this all happen? Well, wouldn't you like to know? Let's stick around and find out how you can avoid getting hacked and what to do if you do get hacked and how to combat it without having to pay out of pocket like I did. Okay, folks, I bet you're wondering, how did it happen? How did you get hacked? Well, I was wondering the same damn thing myself because let me tell you for a fact, I thought that I was impervious to something like that happening to me. And the reason is I thought I was doing everything to protect my security and everything to be vigilant about what it is that I do online. I don't solicit, I don't ask for things from other people. Uh, once in a while I ask for subscribers, but that's about it. I don't post malicious wording and I don't attack people. Where did that get me? Well, I'm gonna tell you what, on April 1st, there I was, right? sitting on my Instagrammy, doing my thing, and doing the thing for you guys, and here's what happened. Whoever it is, whatever it was, cloned an account that was a friend of mine, and I thought that everything was all right, and turns out that my friend was asking for a little bit of support, and what do I do as a good Samaritan, and as a good friend to another person in recovery? I lend a hand, and I lend that support. 12 seconds later, folks, that's right, one, two, 12 seconds. 12 seconds later, poof, gone. My Instagram account was not reachable by me. I could search it up on Google and I could do all these other random things to look for it on the exterior resources, but I couldn't access from my account. I was baffled, I was dumbfounded, and I was a little bit embarrassed because I had that sixth sense. Tell me, hey fool, I think you just got got. Well, <laughs> turns out I did because within less than 24 hours, somehow I was out there selling Bitcoin and I was out there doing cash apps and I was out there doing all these other damn things that I don't do. Under my name and with this beautiful face, and it wasn't me. It was somebody else and I couldn't, I couldn't even wrap my head around how the hell this just happened. Luckily, a buddy of mine hit me up and he was like, yo bro, I think you've been jacked. And I used that word, cause it's hacked. There I was all frustrated and everything else the very next day and I was like, I have to undo this. I gotta find a way to undo the random BS that someone else has done to me. Since I was hacked, Jack, I didn't realize there was people in the back. I didn't run that on purpose, but that's what it turns out to be. Once you clicked malicious software or any links or anything of that nature, and now these terminologies might be off, so don't hate me if they're wrong. So once you click those, you now have an attachment to the file or the origination origin of where that came from. About four people were running on my account and about four people had access to the things that I used to have access to. That's a scary damn thing. And it makes me wonder why someone would take the time to do that crap in the first place because I tell you what, I don't do anything for a selfish purpose or I try not to and I try to do things for a benefit of another person. Hackers do not. They do not care. So I had all these people operating in the background and I reached out and I said, how the hell do I stop this? And how the hell do I get my account back? Now, some of you out there right now are saying you're a big dumb idiot because it's online how to actually re-enable your uh, Instagram account. And I'm going to get that get to that in a minute. I reached out to what I thought was a legit person now mind you I just got hacked Jack and here I am again reaching out to people I don't know long story short I spent the better part of a day trying to figure this out and I was working with somebody on how to unlock the account and everything else turns out that that person wasn't too legit either because they kept asking for more money 
They kept asking for money, money, money. And it, it dawned on me that, yo, man, you're being taken again. I was like, oh, you're a big, dumb idiot. I'm not an idiot, folks. I'm not, I'm really not. I'm truly not. And I'm like a lot of you and millions of people around the globe who have been scammed and hacked and jacked and had to pay it back and all that stuff. And yeah, I ran that on purpose just because it was kind of weird. And I was getting caught up in this spider web again. And I was like, no, screw this. And I told the person or whatever it is that I'm not, I'm not giving up anything else. And if it's that important to them, they can have it. Because I tell you what, once over to another, who I, I've now changed my, my, um, my name on Instagram. And if you follow me, you already know what that is. And I'm going to put that in the description below. Hmm. Which I'm kind of weary about, to be honest. So, I, you know, I made these hackers mad because the one, the originator, I wrote them on my account from the exterior and I told them um, that I wanted my account back. And they told me that they wanted a 300 euro Steam card. And I said, no, bro, that ain't happening. And they told me pretty much to kick sand and be gone with myself because they just weren't going to... Um, allow me to say no it got worse from there it got so bad and i'm gonna tell you what it scared the hell out of me and not because i i was afraid of them but because i'm afraid of their abilities those people can reach out and they can touch you in places you have never been scratched and that's a scary freaking thing the following day i decided to uh, figure out how to go through Instagram and have it fixed and everything else and I watched a YouTube video on um, I'll put that link below because I can't remember the name of someone who showed us how to actually go through Instagram enable some features and be able to get your account recovered if it indeed is you I did that and so far, I think I'm all right. And so far, I think I'm safe. Now, I thought I was safe before, so I'm definitely going to be a little more vigilant. How can you avoid having this happen to you? How can you avoid having to have insecurity, a headache, um, a little bit of vulnerability, and protect what's yours online? A, don't click any links that you are not familiar with where they came from. Look at the language of the person sending you the message. It can be an account that you're familiar with, but look at the language and look at the way things are being put out and the, the way sentences are formed and everything else because there will be discrepancies for the people who know you and are familiar with you and how you speak within the language that is actually being put out in text. Look for spelling errors, grammatical errors. Um, definitely look at where a link is sending to if it has a facebook thing in there or if it has you know an ig link or something like that don't click it because that is going to be um, that one opportunity for a hacker to actually gain control of your account and gain control of your password and everything else and that's where the headache begins and the downward spiral goes where does this leave me folks this leaves me with this and I'm gonna leave you with this. Protect yourself online. Don't become a victim of um, cyber threats and everything else. I was definitely ignorant to it and I did a foolish thing by not actually listening to my sixth sense, my spidey sense, where I felt that something was going on and I, I was like, man, I, I, I know this person, so yes. And that was my fatal mistake. So don't make the same mistake, folks. Don't be a victim. Um, definitely don't give any money to anybody for anything, especially if they say, if you want your account back, you got to do this. You know what? Don't do it. The information is already out there. The information is already public and you're not going to do yourself any favors by rendering any of your hard-earned money. If this video has been any help for you, or if you're going through the same situation, drop some comments below so someone can get some of that. I am the real one sober to another. Life is a garden, folks. Dig it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.